been about 10 years now, been about 10 years. Um, it's a long old time, really, to be getting broke up, but here I still am, July 19th, and um, the O2, I'm looking forward to it. If I didn't need really to do the two sessions, I don't think it'd be too bad. I'd usually go home early and be able to relax, but I think at this stage, you, you need two sessions a day, you know what I mean? You need to obviously to get out on the road, do your road walk, you need to take that break and then get out down to the gym, you know? Days that you have to come in and do, the, do a bit of walk, you know? It's one of them things that uh, the off is not going to last forever, so you need something else to fall back on, you know? I get disappointed after the loss, but I did, I really enjoyed it. And look, I'm thankful to Brad, because if Brad Pickett hadn't have taken the fight, if he, he could have said, no, I'm not fighting him, you know? And I would have never got there, I would have never got the experience, so I'm thankful to Brad for taking the fight, you know? Look, it's the fighting game that if you actually just put your keep your chin down and your hands up and march forward. These people were, were as good as these as these people in the UFC, you know. A lot of people are thinking that, that they really are top of the field, that that top notch fighters they fought him, him and him. It, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? If you have the confidence in yourself to go in and know that you can beat these and you can hang with them, it, it's no problem, you know. You ready, Rock? Yeah, we fought um, a fella from John Cavanagh's gym, Thomas Fodden. Polish fella, real nice guy, and um, went in, and we were standing on the feet for a, m a couple of minutes, he took me down, and my corner, that I was where at the time, threw in the towel, I went to the walk on the Monday, and they were all throwing white towels at me, <laughs> so, it just goes, that's just the way it goes, you know, you, but um, they're not throwing towels at me, you know, I'll tell you. Neil is very down there, Neil is very, doesn't, like, I'm trying to explain to him, Neil, you were, like, after the last UFC, He's messing about, he's in work. I said, you're like, aren't you doing there? People are watching it. I put a picture up in Sweden and, and I said, people, that guy went all over the world. I said, and you, you have to act, he doesn't, he comes into the gym like one of the guys. He doesn't think he's anything special. He's not looking for special treatment. He's getting changed here, and, you know, with everyone and he does the same training. But he, he has to learn, say, you know, I'm a USC fighter. I'm, I'm one of the best fighters around. I'm a cage warriors world champion. Everyone he's for. Oh, Neil is too old, Neil's gonna get beat. This guy has this. Beast him, you know? Obviously, I lost against Brad Pickett, and that was um, that's one. Like, if you're going in, you lose against Phil Harris, you have two losses, and you're only in the door. Like, everybody sees what happens in the UFC when you lose, you get launched out the door, you know. That's just the way it is. Like, you know, I'm not gonna crave and crying about it. That, you know, something we've plenty of experience, you know, whatever. Headlining the Cage Warrior shows, and you know, we've got Jiu Jitsu guys fighting around the world, so there's nothing to us to be competing at a high level, you know, we want to be winning, you know, we don't just want to be there to, oh, we're in the UFC, you know, um, I think he's going to win, I know he's going to win, I'm not going to tell you what round I went, but I know he's going to win, I, I'm, gl I'm glad it's someone we know than someone we don't know, you know, that we're a little bit worried about, so we know what Bill Harris has, and he's a good guy, he's a tough guy, you know, what does he have? he's good judo, and he's good wrestling, you know, and he also boxed as well, very similar to Neil, but I think Neil has a little edge, Neil's a good jiu-jitsu player, and I think Neil's a better boxer. The way I want to beat them is that we, we walk forward and and nothing else really matters when I start walking forward, you know. I'm really trying to hold them. But then that's basically it. I'm trying to hold them and get them out there as quick as I can. It doesn't matter what way I'm going to do it. If I knock them out, happy days. If I submit them, happy days. But like, I like to stand and bang. I like to walk forward and, and try to knock people out, you know. That's my style.